Hi everybody, welcome to 314 Reactor. A few weeks ago, Elegoo sent me their smart robot car kit. Hopefully you can see that there. Smart robot car kit version three. And I did a video on it where I built it to show how relatively easy it was to construct. Uh, so there's a link to that in the description if you wanna see that. Uh, since then, I've now worked on it and I've been inspired by the exocomps from the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, The Quality of Life to make my own robot with it. There's a link to the Star Trek wiki in the description so you can read what an exocomp is and nerd out. Now while constructing this, I realized that it looks quite like a scorpion. So I've decided to call it the scorpion. So in terms of functionality, what I've done is add a Raspberry Pi to it, add some image recognition technology to it and some pincers to it. Now the Raspberry Pi is on the top there and it is controlled by the Arduino by serial. And the serial port sends commands that come from the app, which you can find on the App Store, either on the Apple App Store or on the Google Play Store. Why oh, can't I find it? There it is. And the app allows you to control the car. I'll show you some of that later. But it also allows to add in these custom buttons. Now these custom buttons allow you to send messages to the Arduino and then the code on the Arduino can react to those messages. And what I've got it to do is I've modified the code to send serial messages to the Raspberry Pi and get it to do things like actuate the pincers and take a photo on the camera and use TensorFlow to try and analyze what it is using a trained model and then come up with an estimation of what it thinks is in the picture. Now, originally I wanted to send that information back via serial to the app, but that wasn't possible because I think a Bluetooth module on the Arduino prevents writing to the serial port. It can send information from it to the Raspberry Pi, but it can't send information from the Raspberry Pi to the Arduino. So instead, I've got a Telegram client running on the Raspberry Pi that will send the estimation of what it thinks the image is, along with the image itself, to my Telegram, which also resides on this phone. It's very simple to set up. All you have to do is upload the basic Bluetooth controls code to the Arduino board. Make sure that the Bluetooth board is in there and that Bluetooth is enabled on your phone and you can control the car remotely. Okay, so here we go. It's fairly simple. Forward, back, and you can also use it to steer. Now, the additional part of this is, which enables me to talk to the Raspberry Pi, is that you can make custom controls. Now, what these custom controls do, let me click and hold on one, is allow you to edit it and allow the message that gets sent to the Arduino board via Bluetooth, such as uh, grab probably needs a bit of work because I'm not sure what that will grab but you know the functionality is there uh, and then of course there's release and then of course there's shut down Pi button uh, so you can remotely shut down the Pi and then switch off the power to the Arduino without damaging the SD card on the Pi. So I've got the exocomp here on my floor and it's facing towards this chest of drawers it also has a wall and electrical socket a few other things that it can try and identify so let's see how well it identifies it. So what we've got to do is hit the check object button. That's taken the picture. And now we just have to switch to Telegram. There's a few other test pictures there from earlier. Now it takes a little while to process the image because there's quite a lot of processing power behind what it's doing. There we go. File, filing cabinet, filing cabinet score 021034. And there's the picture. So let's analyze that as possibly being a file, file cabinet. So let's try it with something else. So here I have the exocomp facing myself. Let's see if it'll take a picture of me. So I should have taken the picture there. Again, let's switch over to Telegram. So there we go. It thinks it's a projector with quite high confidence as well. And to be fair, in the picture, it does look quite like a projector. You should be able to see my sofa there, window, 
and possibly my AVP picture up there. But I don't know if it has anything to recognise that, so let's see. There we go. It's given its guess there, which is a window shade, which, yeah, that's pretty much what that is. Uh, they're blinds, but a window shade pretty much on the dot. So obviously sometimes it's going to come back with erroneous results, but it does usually come back with the closest thing that it can find. You can train it more. I haven't done that yet, but I will look into training the model to recognize more images and be more accurate of what it's seeing. But generally the idea is, is that be able to control this using the Bluetooth app, move it around to where you want, possibly to where you can't see yourself, hit the analyze object button and it will take the picture, analyze it, and then send it to the Telegram client on the phone. And again, all of the code for this, uh, all the instructions, all down in the description. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is do a test of how well it grabs things. I've not done a test of this yet, so I have no idea how it's gonna work, but it's gonna try and grab this keyboard and see how well it holds on to it. I don't think it'll hold on it very well, as I think I probably need to put some rubber hands, hands on the end of this, because otherwise it's just not gonna have any grip. But let's see anyway. And then let's go back and remote control it. See if we can move back. Oh, it tried. It tried. Let me go back and do release. That oh, just smacks that out of the way. Okay, cool. And then we go. And then we go back. And then we go to controls again. And then grab. Has that got any grip on it? Might do. Let's try and go back. Out. So sometimes it can take a few attempts to connect to the Bluetooth. I'm not sure why. I'm definitely within 10 centimeters of the module there. Okey so in the end I had to reboot the Arduino there. Um, so I think that may be the Arduino crashed somewhere along the line. And what we have here is the ultimate test in possible sentience. It's facing itself in a mirror. I've made sure the camera's looking a bit more straightforward. And because the overall thing looks up a bit anyway, I've put it under some Windows 98 installation guides. So hopefully it's looking directly at itself now. And what I'm gonna do is run the check object functionality. Got Telegram open and ready. Just while it's doing that, you may also notice that the power light does occasionally blink off on the Raspberry Pi. I've powered it directly from the Arduino, which maybe isn't the best way to do it because it does tend to lose that power button, which doesn't mean it's restarted, it just means it's under five volts, I believe. So I think somewhere along the line, the pins that I've used from the Arduino aren't quite giving enough juice, but they do seem to be giving enough juice to the servo board. I haven't seen that blink on and off yet. So that should have processed by now. And it's analyzed itself as a shoe shop, a shoe shop, or a shoe store, which is interesting. So it's not quite sentient yet. Now, let's give it a bit more of an extreme test. Let's use the smart controls and see if we can get it to go up the hallway there, look around to the left a bit, take a picture where I can't quite see, and then message it to Toby. facing on the corridor there and check object okay so it thinks it's seen a binder or a ring binder there so obviously I think that image is a bit too weird for it so okay obviously it can't always recognize everything but that's a good example of how you could drive the bot around a corner to somewhere where you can't see and have it relay that picture to you via telegram so overall, this is a really good product. Uh, there's a link to it in the description below. I definitely recommend it if you want to get into robotics, but perhaps haven't had much experience with it. So I've learned a lot on the way. So uh, if you want to add your own code, you can do that. If you want to add your own hardware, as you can see, you can do that. And there's also, you can see the IO expansion board on top of the Arduino there. So it allows you plenty of expansion capability. So you can really do your own thing with this. You can make it your own. Um, and it's so easy, so much fun and I definitely recommend it. So thank you to Elegoo for sending me this. I uh, definitely really appreciate it. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get the project finished, 
Hopefully there's more I can add to it. Uh, hopefully get it to actually be able to grab objects. Hopefully sort out some of the power issues and also sort out some of the responsive issues with the Raspberry Pi as sometimes I have to press the button on the app uh, quite a few times. I think that may be an issue with the serial connection on the Pi. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike and a comment saying why. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.